So you, you touched on their societal paradigms um, and perhaps the way that people are brought up and the, the traditional way of thinking about the markets and even just thinking about their work and their own skill set. Why is, is some of that so foreign to the those skills foreign and, and perhaps not that suited to investing in the market? Yeah. Well, 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 we hate we hate physical pain and we, and we program to avoid physical pain. Society does that to us. Uh, experiences do that to us, but we also, in the same way as as we, in the more physical pain that we might feel from something, the less we're going to do something. And the same thing occurs in in our in our minds. You know, we 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 hate emotional pain as well. And the more emotional pain we feel from some kind of source, you know, the less we're going to want to engage with that particular environment. And uh, you know, so really, just to finish the other discussion, because they were kind of interlinked and they lead into each other, is that. You know, investing is is all about um, is all about overcoming you know, short term emotional pain to be able to achieve your long term you know, financial gain. That's effectively what it comes down to, and putting a regime in place that to, to actually achieve that. And one of the things you need to realize and overcome is is that we are programmed by our time on the planet, which is us, the societies we live in, whichever they may be or combination thereof, to think in a certain way. And um, and and we build a we build a subconscious paradigm, if you like, which goes into which which is supported by beliefs, it's supported by you know, re repetitive experiences, uh, and it programs us to be the sort of human beings we are. And and I can tell you from experience and speaking to you know, many tens face to face, probably even hundreds of people, you know, over, over this this period over the last thirty plus years, is is that the way we are programmed by society is not conducive to, to successful decision-making in the stock market. We have to undo that programming or overcome that programming with respect to the decisions we make in the stock market. And, and we have to overcome what, what, we, what I call the societal paradigm to take on a market paradigm. And um, right, big statement, how do you do that? We have to overcome our emotions. So, so we have to not allow emotional decision making in the stock market we have to overcome emotional decision making and you know, and where do our emotions kick in the most well when there's short term volatility why do they kick in because we see red ink we see red numbers uh, we see our portfolios going to drawdown and that creates an emotional reaction and we get this autonomic uh, emotional pain avoidance uh, and physical as works the same way as physical pain avoidance that kicks in and it overrides our rational decision making that we otherwise would have made if we didn't experience this emotional pain. So, so we have to come. We have to come up with a, a, a way of thinking, a regime, if you like, a decision making regime that recognizes that. You know, so there's an awareness that recognizes that at the moment and overcomes it in a way that we continue to achieve objectivity and consistency. So, how do we react to short term you know, emotional pain? Uh, short-term volatility in the market well it breaks our consistency it breaks our objectivity we become subjective we make knee-jerk reactions uh we we feel the pain and, and and we do things that we otherwise wouldn't do you know there's there's lots of material around um fight or flight mode with the, your amygdala the amygdala which is, is uh, which kind of links your cognitive brain to 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 the rest of your brain is hijacked so it's called amygdala hijack and that puts us into a fight or flight mode to some degree and that causes us to make you know, irrational decisions that are not consistent with our plan that we put in place. So, or if you don't have a plan in place, well, then you've got you've got no you've got no platform, you've got no foundation to go to, which is why it's so important to to have you know a, an investment plan. So, how do you overcome? How do you achieve that objectivity? How do you achieve that consistency? Well, you you have to you have to your decision making has to be based on on evidence. It has to be based on something that you have you know an unshakable belief in and how do you get it get that unshakable belief well you have to have a belief in numbers and statistical probabilities to be able to do that yeah and there's a big process that sits behind all that and that's the that's the topic of the, the next discussion in our in our next session mm -hmm. so that's going to be really really interesting for us